Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about uh, really understanding the range drum on your uh, carry handle. You know, if you have a if you have a traditional AR-15 set up over here. So I've set this thing up with the optic on top. But the nice thing about this is that you can use both the iron sights and the scope because the scope sits on top of your iron sight. So you can actually transition from one to the other. Um, so, and the reason why this is called a carry handle is so that it could carry your optic. Okay, so anyway, today I'm gonna to be focusing on this range drum over here, um, which was really an enigma, enigma for me for a very long time. Um, I didn't fully understand it. I've only recently like really come to understand it uh, and make it work for me. So with this range drum, as we rotate it, right, you'll see this little piece here that uh, contains the, uh, the rear sight aperture. Basically it rises up Right, and there's a total of 33 clicks that are evenly spaced that raise this piece up over here, right? Uh, now it's 33 clicks, but there's only 30 uh, active clicks. So the, the on mine over here, the last three clicks are kind of dead. Uh, even though it's clicking, this piece over here is not actually rising. So that's something that you that you gotta be aware of. Okay, so over here I have a graph that shows uh, each of the of the 33 clicks in referenced by these lines over here. And over here I've marked the last three as dead, right? And as I explained, as you rotate this, this rises, so it, and it rises at you know, it rises evenly spaced, okay. But uh, here's the thing. As you're rotating this, it's rising evenly uh, spaced. Oh, if we look over here, right, um, I have here a bunch of numbers that represent yardages, right? So 100 yards, 200 yards, 300, 4, 5, 600 yards. And if you fire a bullet, right, we know that when the bullet comes out, it's going fast and then it slows down. As it slows down, gravity has more time to act on it. So as it goes further out, it drops at a faster rate, right? So, you know, as it goes further out, it drops at a faster rate. And the way that's represented uh, with the clicks is there's a different number of clicks uh, between the different numbers that are on this range drum over here, okay? So if you start off in the 6-3 position, right? Uh, and the way this is set up, uh, in, basically you set, you, you this is designed, was originally designed so that you would take get a 25-yard zero, which would give you a second zero uh, at 300 yards, okay? All right, and so if you zero in on that, um, then if you go, if you rotate around to the four position, which is six clicks, you're now at 400 yards. But then if you go to the five, you're at 500 yards, but it's six clicks to four, eight clicks to five, 10 clicks to six, okay? Um, so because of this graph over here, because the bullet is dropping at a faster rate uh, as it goes further out, the number of clicks increases uh, at, each, at, at each different uh, range over here. So from uh, 300 to 400, it's only six clicks, but from four to five, it's eight clicks. And from five to six, it's 10 clicks, okay? Um, so, so and, and again, that's because of the flight path of the bullet. So uh, here's the thing, in order for, you know, because the there's a different number of clicks between the four and the five and the five and the six, okay? Uh, this kind of forces us, that if we want this range drum to mean anything, Okay, we have to work off of the um, the 25, 300 yard zero that it was originally designed to do so, okay? Now, um, there is a method called the uh, revised improved uh, battle zero where you're able to kind of reset this a little bit, 
Okay, uh, and I, I mentioned this in a different video, and there's lots of videos out there that show you how to do this. Again, it's called, just, just search uh, Revised Improved Battle Zero, uh, and there'll be a, a abbreviated, abbreviated R-I-B-Z, and it shows you how to recalibrate this. Basically, you put an Allen key in the top, uh, and the drum divide, you know, basically the drum over here divides into a top and bottom. You loosen the Allen screw, you hold the top of this, you hold the top of this like this while you rotate the bottom half of the drum. And what that does is it allows you to reset reset it so that you have a negative eight clicks, all right, from the six three position. So 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 from so initially this starts right right here at the six three, and then you've got your clicks that go forward, you get all the way to the six. And then you would have like let's say eight you know eight clicks after that. So all we've done is we've with the with the uh, adjustment that we make for the revised improved battle zero, we shift this back a little bit. So our our eight clicks are in the front instead of at the back. Uh, and the benefit of this is that we're able to maintain the distance, you know, the same distance between the different yardages, so that we can so that we can uh, use this the same way. Okay, so the question here is, do you want your eight clicks in the front or you want your eight click, clicks in the back? Um, the benefit of use of, of doing this where you shift your eight clicks to the front, uh, on this rifle over here, what I found is that, yeah, because here's the thing, the problem with using a 25, 300 yard zero uh, is that at 100 yards, with a 25 yard zero, you're gonna be about 10 inches high. Okay, so if you're aiming here, you're gonna be over the head. Uh, but if you have a 50 yard zero, right? If you aim here, you're only about four inches high. So what I found with my specific rifle over here is that if I click back uh, from the 6-3 position, which is a 25 yard zero, okay? If I click back into negative territory, right? So let me go. So I start off with the six three. If I click into negative territory, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what that does is that brings me all the way back here, uh, where I have a fifty yard zero. Uh, you know, which gives me a second zero at two hundred yards, and at one hundred yards, I'm four inches high. So for me, this is my default position. Right, I keep this all the way back here on this first setting over here. Okay. Um, and only if I, if I'm shooting past 250 yards, okay, do I rotate this up to the 6-3 position, okay? So that's how I have made this rifle work for me for the way that I shoot at the distances that I normally shoot at. And the nice thing is that, you know, if I, if, you know, even though I can shoot, uh, the 50 yard zero with the second zero at 200, uh, if I get out to further distance, I can, I can move this up to the 300 position, to the 400 position, right, to the 500 position, um, and even to the 600 position, and and the elevation uh, is is affected. Now, the one thing that's happened as I approach the 600 uh, yard uh, number over here, because the last the last four the last three clicks are dead. Okay, I can only get up to this number over here. Okay, um, I can't. You know, I, I can't actually get to the, I mean, I can turn to the six, but it's dead. This thing doesn't actually rise. Now with iron sights, I mean, I, I really can't see anything at 600 yards, okay? Uh, so that's why I'm more concerned with being more act, quickly accurate at close distances than I am out at 600 yards uh, with the iron sights on this gun, okay? Um, so that's kind of like a choice you have to make. Do you want this drum to work, you know, uh, at close distances with a 50, with a 50, 200, zero, or do you want to be able to shoot all the way to 600 yards? Um, if you're like in a desert uh, where you are going to be shooting, you know, you're almost always going to be shooting past, you know, at 300 yards plus, yeah, it wouldn't make sense for you to put these eight clicks in the front. You would want to have them in the back end here, so I would use the default factory setting uh, that came with with the carry cam. Okay, so so that's the thing to understand with these with with these clicks. The, the clicks are evenly spaced, right? So as you're rotating the drum, 
the uh, the rear elevation is rising at the same pace, but as far as the numbers that are etched into the drum, okay, they are apart at different distances, right? So the, the, from the, between the three and the four, you've got six clicks. Between the four and the five, you've got eight clicks. And between the five and the six, you have 10 clicks. Uh, and that's to, to accommodate the fact that the bullet is dropping at a faster rate uh, as it gets further out. Now, there's also the Z setting over here, right? How do you use the Z setting? Well, um, and, and this is one of those things I had to really look into. Um, I, I wasn't able to find anything really definitive. It seemed that a lot of people were saying that uh, the Z setting was if you're using a um, uh, if you're using a 20 inch barrel instead of the 16 inch barrel that I have here. Because and, and here's the thing that makes sense, okay? Uh, because if you're using a 20 inch barrel, your bullet is coming out of the barrel, uh, out of the barrel faster, so it's going to get further out before it starts dropping. So it makes sense that you would want to start with instead of zeroing, you know, instead of getting your 25 yard zero in the six in, in the in the six three position, you would zero on the Z position. So instead of there being six clicks between your 300 and your 400, uh, there would only be five clicks, right? So you basically you're closing uh, the gap here. And here's the thing, you gotta make it work for you. So for example, let's say you're using a 45 grain bullet, okay? Which is going now even faster. Well, I would go Z plus one, right? You know, or you, I mean, I don't know, I'm guessing. I'm guessing you might have to go Z plus one because the bullet's going out even faster. So in order to kind of make this thing work, you have to you, know, you have to even sh to shorten the distance a little bit more between the um, be between your 300 and your 400. Okay, uh, and then likewise, uh, like I, like I said earlier, for for my particular rifle here, okay, I uh, zeroed in at 25 yards uh, on the 6-3 position. Okay, uh, but for me, most people will say that in order to um, to get back to a 50 yard zero, you would have to go negative four. I've heard some people say negative six. I've heard others say uh, negative two. For me, in order to get back to a 50 yard zero, I had to rotate back a full eight clicks, okay? So, and here's the thing. Uh, I'm, my elevation here at this location is about 2,000 feet up. So that that's probably uh, a factor in this, okay? So I have to go eight clicks back uh, in order for me to go from a 25 yard zero to a 50 yard zero, and that's going to be my default position. I'm always going to keep this all the way, you know, eight, negative eight clicks. So I've got a 50, a, a 50 yard zero, which gives me a second zero at 200 yards. And only if I'm shooting at 300 yards, will I rotate this up to the 300 position, and then I rotate up. Uh, and the drawback is that hey, I've I've got the last three numbers here are dead. So I can't get all the way up to 600 yards, um, you know, because you know I can't. You know, I'm basically I'm coming up short by one click. So which is not I'm not that far off, right? I'm only so basically I could go up to I guess like uh, 580 yards, okay, and then I would have to you know like manually hold a little bit high over my target in order if I if I was trying to put suppression fire at 600 yards because all, that's all I'm going to be able to do right? at 600 yards with my 50 year old eyes the best I can do at 600 yards is do suppression fire I'm not going to be able to really see my target that well um, but at the closer distances you know that's that's where I think it's it's more important for me to be accurate so uh, so there's some information about how to use this range drum how to understand this range drum if you understand what's happening here as you're spinning it the clicks are evenly spaced but uh the space between the etched numbers right that are on your drum is different okay you got six clicks eight clicks and ten clicks um and in order for those clicks to be to mean anything we have to basically zero at 25 300 all right uh, but then we can fine tune, right? So let's say if we if we got a longer barrel, we can use the Z position, or let's say if we got like a really short barrel, like let's say you know I got a 16 inch barrel here. What if I was using a a, a 10 inch barrel, right? Well, I'd have to play around with this a little bit, but maybe I would have to go into like a negative two or negative three territory uh, just to get that 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 300 yards uh, that, that 25 300 yard zero. So 
the clicks are evenly spaced. Um, you got to kind of figure out how you're going to use them and, and make them work for you. Uh, but, a, but a good starting point is to understand that this, this system was designed for the 25, 300 yard zero. So, so basically get your 25 yard zero, test it out at 100 yards. Uh, basically at a, at 100 yards with a 25 yard zero, you're going to be about 10 to 12 inches high. Okay. Um, and then and then basically, if you want to go to use a 50 yard zero, go back here into the negative clicks. Um, you know, get your 50 yard zero and test that out. Basically, at 100 yards with a 50 yard zero, you're going to be about four inches high. Okay, so that's how you know that that's those numbers are kind of falling in place because it's kind of hard to test it out at 300 yards and 200 yards with iron sights because. You know, for most of us, our eyes aren't that good. So that's why um, the 100 yards is really where I, I kind of like, um, you know, I, I really check to see if numbers are falling in where they're supposed to be falling in because I know that a 25 yard zero is going to be uh, about 10 to 12 inches high and a 50 yard zero is going to be uh, three to four inches high. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. I hope it cleared up a lot of questions. And I wanted to bring some attention to the fact that even though you've got 33 clicks, uh, on mine at least, uh, the last two are dead. Uh, for other people, it might be different. Maybe, they, maybe they're not dead or maybe they got more clicks that are dead. That's one of the things that you want to pay attention to. As you're clicking over here and you're rotating this, make sure that this is actually rising when you're all the way at the beginning and all the way at the end. Make sure because it, it took me a uh, it took me a little while to figure that out. That the last three clicks on mine uh, were dead. Okay, so we'll talk again soon.